Welcome back into Victoria's Tarot. Today we're going to take a look into the Samantha Murphy case. So let's try to figure out who these energies are that were around her since the day she went missing. What can you tell us about Samantha Murphy and the energies that were surrounding her? What can you tell me about Samantha Murphy and the energies that were surrounding her? Ten of Swords in the upright tells us about being betrayed. Three of Swords in the reverse talks about releasing sadness in the present moment. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, which talks about either release from a past lover, sharing some type of information or wealth. It could talk about letting people go. And with the pentacles, I wonder if it's somebody that worked for her. Because through all her readings, there's a lot of this person being within the community. Knight of Swords in the upright. This is the person that makes things happen. Mom. They're action oriented. The moon in the reverse. Brings us to releasing fear, unveiling secrets, or mental distress. This person could have been in some type of stress. They betrayed her. <coughs> because of some type of stress they're in. The star in the reverse tells us about no hope. Despair. A loss of faith. Disappointment. And the king of pentacles. So in this present moment, her present energy is giving her releasing sadness. She could have passed on. We are always hoping that these people are found safe. But she's releasing some type of sadness. Maybe disappointment. <clears throat> and it's about her husband. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright that tells us about the new opportunities, the new career opportunity, the new financial opportunity. Nine of Wands in the reverse tells us about refusing to compromise, being overwhelmed. <clears throat> so it seems like whatever this is, this, this could be somebody in her community, possibly somebody that worked for, I don't know who. Some type of business between the two. Did she let this person go from a job? Did she let this person go within a relationship? The death card. <clears throat> two of swords in the reverse tells us about the confusion with a soulmate. So for sure, like, Confusion and stalemate, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but there's confusion on the present energy. The hangman in the reverse tells us about the stalling and delays. Knight of Pentacles, this is Stuck Energy. Page of Cups in the upright tells us about the opportunity. <clears throat> Six of Cups, that tells us about somebody familiar. Something or somebody familiar may be a familiar place. Look at this background. I, don't, I, I still don't know what kind of business she's a part of or anything like, like that. King of Wands, there he is in the reverse. Very aggressive energy from the beginning to the end. She knows this person from the past. She has past memories with this person. They're familiar to her. Six of Swords in the upright tells us about <clears throat> moving to common grounds, getting away from a chaotic situation. Knight of Wands in the reverse tells us about scattered energy, a violent energy. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so, I think I said from the beginning, there were multiple people popping up. 
okay? These knights' energy has popped up a lot around this king of wands. So I really can't say how many people are involved, but what I will tell you is this king of wands is definitely one. For some reason, her husband keeps popping up in the readings. Like he's, he seems to be a very strong focal point along with this the mystery people. So at this point, is it connected to employment? Is this somebody they let go? Is this somebody she was friends with that she's not friends with anymore? Because <clears throat> I'm not getting it. And she's all kind of disappointed in her husband. So that's what I have for Samantha Murphy. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.